Hello YouTube watchers and subscribers. Look at this. Got all this get up on me. You're going to be wondering, what's he doing? What's he got all that gear on him? He's got his mic mic'd up. He's got his harness on. What's he up to? Hey, you're going to see now. I've got an unboxing to do for you today. So you can enjoy this one for all you content creators. <laughs> it's a great bit of kit. I just received it today about half an hour ago from UPS Hong Kong and yep that should tell you what that's all about then that's where all the damn gadgets come from isn't it Hong Kong China all that gear that's what this is you're gonna love it so let's crack on and have a look at the box and see what's inside let's go <laughs> a right unboxing there that was full of stuff wow yeah that's a kit and a half if i may say so myself so here it is guys it's the hover air pro max and it looks like a wonderful bit of kit look at that as you may or may not know dji they've brought out a new drone similar to this it's a small portable drone used for relatively new drone flyers these drones are very very easy to fly that's what it's made for when i saw this was coming out i said i am getting on this one i was going to go for the dji neo which was released i'm a dji fan the camera that i'm using now is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and it's a wonderful, wonderful camera. Tell you the truth, what am I doing? Let me put them together. Hold on a sec guys, let me get the original Hover Air X1. 
see you in a mo. Yeah guys, here it is. Uh, I put it in a battery case, portable battery, and I've decided to put it in the case to keep it nice and safe, because it's, I mean, it's a tough drone. It's not like brittle or anything, but you know, it's nice to surround it in a nice case. So I use my portable battery case to keep it in there. But this is the one that I used to use. I'll, I'll, I'll still use it, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, because it's even smaller than this one, so it still has its purposes. But obviously, this is smaller. It's not as technical as this thing here. But it's still a good drone. So as you can see, I will just flip it out, hold it in my hand like that, off it went, and it would follow me or video whatever or give some different perspective shots different shot views and stuff like that it was it's it's, it's a really really good drone 2.7k still good 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 quality you know you're still going to get great pictures from this and this is fine I'll tell you the truth let me i'm looking like i'm going to put it away it's a bit silly let me get that there let me get this out of the way and show you what it looks like side by side compared to the original. What I should do as well, because I'm showing it on a black background here. That's better guys. That table was a bit dark, wasn't it? So I've got another unboxing for you here lined up. So I've decided to put these drones on top of this box, which I'll be unboxing soon to give you guys something else to think about, something techy again. You're gonna love what's in here. So that's up, that's up and coming. So keep an eye out for that guys. But let's get back to the drones. That's how they look. Look at that guys. It's slightly bigger. There's no doubt about that. It's slightly bigger but still portable, still small enough to really, yeah, if you've got big pockets, you know, chuck in your pocket, <laughs> you know, if you've got a jacket with deep pockets. This one, obviously, I mean, that's great. You just chuck it like that. That can go in your trouser pocket, this one. You know what I mean? It's really, really small. You'd have a bulge, but hey, you know, that's the way it goes, you know, give you some street cred with that one, but hey, that's it. But this one, yes, it's not as in your pocket, but it can still get in a pocket depending on what size it is. Look at it, wonderful bit of kit. Obviously, you know the drill, always charge your gadgets to 100% first before you decide to play around with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna charge it up first before I actually get into the nitty gritty of it. But that's a size comparison. X-Pro Max, there is a Pro version, X, um, Hover Air X1 Pro, not the Max. So if you don't want the full bee's knees, this is the full bee's knees, whatever they can chuck in it, it's in there. But hey, if you don't want that, there's one just below, which is obviously just as good. And obviously this is the first version, the first iteration of this format of drone uh, for this company, Hover Air. So yeah, I'm going to just show you what else came with this package. I got it off Indiegogo. As I said to you before, and I think in another video, I love all these projects. They give you it at a discount before they release it. So it's like a pre-release thing. It's a risky thing. I have been burnt on a few of these projects, but if you pick the right ones, like companies like Hover Air that have a good track record of bringing out their products, you know, you mitigate all those dodgy, dodgy ones on Indiegogo and Kickstarter. Let's have a look at some of the other gear that came with it and then that'll be it. So let's crack on and see what else came with this ski combo kit. Right, let's start off with the small one. This is a handlebar mount. I think I got this as an extra because I realized, I said, oh, when I'm riding my bike, it'd be nice to put this other gadget, which I'm gonna show you, on this. 
So that is a handlebar mount. And here's the screw here that you just screw on here like this. So that's that. That's one bit of what came in the box. Have a look at this. Beacon and joystick bundle. Right. Basically, this thing is a beacon that the drone communicates with. <laughs> and wherever this beacon goes, the drone goes. Wow, let's get this open. Rawr. Yes, Flossie, you're coming through, coming through. Right, look at that, it comes in a lovely box. Wow, I'm just gonna have a feel of this. It's lovely, it's got a lovely texture. Feels like leather, I'm just gonna smell it. Wow, it even smells a bit leathery. That's a bit high end, isn't it? Wow, it feels really, really nice. Right, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is, but charging cable. Yep, I reckon it's a charging cable. Yep, let's put that there. Let's get it all out anyway, and then we can decide what's what. So, wow. Guys, this is a unboxing. I'm not gonna go through all the specs, yeah? Cause I'll be here all day. I mean, this video will be so long. I'm just giving you an unboxing. If you wanna find out more about what the equipment does, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description, guys. I'm gonna put the link to Indiegogo and the Hover Air website where I presume you can buy it directly because obviously as Kicks, uh, as a Indiegogo uh, project, it's closed. So these are selling maybe on Amazon. I'll check on Amazon, guys. I'll check on Amazon to find out whether it's being sold on there now. But I'm just taking all the bits out and leave it to you guys to decide what you want to do. There's not many people with this at this present time. So this is a handle. This is the actual beacon, yeah? This is the actual beacon, yeah, and that was the charging cable, as you can see, the pins are kind of the same. So that's sort of magnetically sticks on there and charges that. All this gear I've got to charge up, I can't use it. And then these are sticks. So if you want like a remote controller and you will obviously put your phone or whatever on there. And then, as I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm just guessing here, but guessing in the sense, I kind of know what it is. You put your phone in there and these are the sticks there that was there that go on here and you use it like a remote control, you know, like a normal drone kind of thing. You know, you use the remote control to direct it where you want to go. So that's what that is. And those are the sticks, as I said. And that is the, wow, that looks interesting. So this goes on here somewhere. So when I'm actually riding my bike or whatever I want to attach it to, this somehow will connect on there and the drone will follow the beacon. So yeah, that's the way it goes. Again, I need to find out how that works. But as it stands, that is what I think it is. So that's that, let's get another box up here. Wow, there's loads of goodies in here. <laughs> this is all right. I just got the combo because I got it at a discount, guys. I might as well get everything because if you're getting it, not half price, but 30 odd percent off, you might as well get everything. And then you've got it, you know, it's a right lovely kit. I can't wait for some people to bring out reviews on this thing better than me. I'm sure there's loads of people who are better reviewers than me. I'm just unboxing this. All I do know, wow, look at that. Whoa, look at that. There's a bit of battery life in there. So that tells you something. This is a battery pack. This is a battery charger. 
basically what I do know, as the name suggests, this is the snow pack. So this is for when you're in really, really cold weather. And as it says there, thermo, I'm going to show you now. I've got the, oh, I've got to stretch down here. I've got two thermal, thermo smart batteries, basically. So this drone has got three batteries, which is great. I've got a lot of flight time here, guys. There is no doubt about that. I've got some serious flight time because, oh, jeez. Oh, God, dropping everything in. Oh, all right, let's bend down. As you can see, that's a thermo battery. This can be used in very, very cold weather. This is made for skiers who want to record their ski trips downhill because usually when you go skiing, you got to go all the way up to the top and come all the way down and then start again. So you want to make sure your equipment's working. So you want proper batteries that are, that are not going to stop your drone recording because it's frozen. These are thermo batteries and I've got two of these. Wow. It's, yeah, it's really quite hard to get out. Anyway, that's the same one. So I'm not even going to get that one open now. Let's get all the boxes up here. It saves me bending down all the time. This is the uh, power adapter, obviously, to charge everything up. Let's get this open. Let's see how many watts this is. Let's chuck that here out the way. Wow, it's a big thing, isn't it? This one, yeah, 65 watt. Wow, 65 watt charger there. That's the bee's knees. Get everything charged quickly. Got some ND filters here for those bright days, etc. Oh, I don't want to break that box because I want to put it back in there, I think. So, yep, yeah, got some ND filters. This is a package, guys, isn't it? Look at that. Wonderful with a nice cleaning cloth to keep it nice and clean. Look at that, guys. ND filters. Wow, this is full of goodies. And then this is a, another charging brick here for charging things twice as fast. Oh, not twice as fast, but <laughs> you get two done. So, right, this is easy, this one, that goes in there. So that goes in there, and the other one would go in there. Plug it into your 65 watt charger, and off you go. Oh, wow, that was a right unboxing. There was so much stuff. I've got to check if there's anything else, because there was so much gear. Oh, yep, there is a little bit here. Oh, let's get this here. So, so many boxes. Magnetic, let's get it in the camera. Magnetic adapter mount and magnetic clip. Ha, what is that now? Wow, there's so much gear. Whew, just all coming out from all sides now. All oh, right, let's chuck that box there. Let's be a bit neat here. That's why I'm confusing myself because there's so many boxes. I'm missing some boxes that needs to still be open. So that's that. That is that. Right. That's going to take a bit of working out. I don't know what that's going to be doing. But hey, that's another bit. And then this is the case, guys, where everything goes in. Wonderful. I do know, right there it is, yeah. I do know you can put this on your bike. That's why it opens. So you put it on your your top bar on your bike and then bam, that's it. On your top bar. And then you put your gear in there when you want to take it out, you whip it out, put your drone in the air and off you ride, guys. <laughs> this is amazing. I can't wait to test this out when the weather's a bit better. It's a bit dull and manky out there. It's not too good. So I can't wait till the weather peps up a bit. But as it stands, this looks great. Oh, 
What's all this? Wow, there's straps in here. Look, loads of straps and oh Jesus! Wow, this is a right one. I've got to work this all out, guys. This is a great bit of kit. But yep, yeah, that's it. I think we've had enough of that now. That was a long one, wasn't it? That was a long unboxing there. So I hope you like that, guys. Let's get this out of the way. Put the drone there. Put that there. Put that there. So let's stand up and get a nice little view of everything there. I hope you like that, guys. If you want to have a look at the actual specifications and some reviews obviously of it actually working and what it can do i'll put some links in the description so check it out and until the next video i'll catch you guys 